We're in the people moving business. That's really what we do, safely move people around the mountain. We got here on May 15th and started the removal of Ram Charger and Shedhorn. For a while when the concrete's down and the towers are up but the rope's not on, you're kind of like, is this thing ever going to be done? And then all of a sudden it just all comes together and the lift turns and you're, it's so exciting to see it actually spin with its motor and do what it's supposed to do. It's a really, really cool feeling. The lift that was right here, Ram Charger lift, got taken apart into little pieces, driven in trucks out to the south face to Shedhorn and reassembled out there with some improvements. And then this lift behind me right now is 100% brand new, state of the art. They've been working seven days a week, all summer long. It's pretty amazing to see it all come together. We used the helicopter to pour the concrete on the lift line of Ram Charger, 6,000 pound buckets at a time. The towers on Ram Charger have a lot of concrete. Some of them have about 55 yards, which is five and a half concrete trucks just for one tower. The helicopter pilot, Brian Jorgensen, was here with his Black Hawk. We consider him the best in the business for putting ski lifts in. It's dangerous work, so it helps to feel confident that the pilot's looking out for you from the air because when you're on the tower, there's nowhere to escape. You're just up there trusting him that he's not gonna set that piece down in the wrong spot. We put in the Ram Charger lift line in about six and a half hours. Some of the heaviest pieces were the cross arms and they weighed about 6,500 pounds, which was nearly the limit of the helicopter. The Ram Charger cable weighed about 78,000 pounds and took us about a good week to get into place on the lift and splice. The crew of guys from Doppelmayr worked their butts off all summer and work long hours, long days. The work that they do, just because they're such a tight-knit family and crew, uh, they don't want to let anybody down, so they're going to make sure that that nut's tight and that bolt is uh, in the right spot and everything's done right, because they don't want to let their buddy down who's coming in behind them to do the next step in the process. The safety involving the ski lift is, is a big deal. It's the foremost thing in operating the lift because people are going to be riding this thing starting now for a long time to come. This is all your brains behind seat heating right there. This is more computer just to run the seat heating than uh, old Ram Charger had in the whole lift. It's pretty techy. Every single piece on this lift came over in containers from Wolford, Austria. There's a ton of things about this lift that make it super cool. One of those is uh, direct drive. When we say direct drive, essentially what we're doing is eliminating the gearbox. Almost every time that a lift goes down, and it has to be rope evac due to a mechanical failure, it's because the gearbox has gone. Now they just took the gearbox out of the equation, so it's this big, cool, round motor that drives the bowl wheel, and it sits on top of the bowl wheel, and now there's no gearbox in between your motor and your bowl wheel. The things that guests are gonna notice, uh, these giant eight-pack chairs, uh, which weigh about one ton each, uh, the suspension system on them and the way the grips and the towers interface is such a smooth, comfortable ride. You don't, you don't even know you're going over the towers. The terminals themselves are silent. We can stand down here and talk like this with the lift running behind us and, uh, and you don't hear anything. Well, bringing not only the first to eight place to North America and to Big Sky, it's part of our transformation of Big Sky bringing the next level, the next generation of technology and experiences. We're really, really excited about this next step, obviously, and what this represents for the future. This really transforms the experience for the guests in a way that uh, I don't think many people are understanding until they get on this lift and ride it. It's pretty earth-shattering, revolutionary for this technology to be here.